I became a photographer because I was lost and I was going through a period of uh, severe depression. I couldn't leave my house, so that meant that I couldn't work. And in order to pay my rent, I started selling clothes on Etsy um, and I needed a camera for that. The way I go about photography and the way I go about shooting subjects is making it a collaborative process. Maybe they don't know me, maybe they're not super familiar with my work, and even if they are, they're feeling vulnerable, but um, not using that as an excuse to not push them, you know, a bit so that we get something that they never thought that they could create themselves. I think, you know, me as a black woman photographing black men uh, means so much because um, I come from a place of understanding and we both understand what it's like to be a black person and living in this world. and. Um, and there's a camaraderie that comes out of the work that I create with black men. And when I took on the project of Scruggs Magazine, that kind of changed everything, uh, especially the first shoot that I did for the magazine, uh, which was the cover shoot with Adonis Basso, which is also featured in the Aperture book. And that work has informed all of my work uh, since. And uh, the movement, the light, um, the skin, like all of those have become signature um, signatures in my work and without that work my work wouldn't look the way it does now. So I think you know uh, with a lot of the photographers that are in the book and a lot of photographers, black photographers that are uh, photographing now, it's like you see such a breadth of the black experience uh, rather than this like myopic viewpoint of black people that has been the narrative for so long because white people have been photographing us for so long. And so it's kind of amazing and it feels slightly historical uh, that there are so many black photographers that are making their mark and being acknowledged and um, making huge strides within um, every aspect of the industry, whether it be photojournalism or fashion. For me, it's been really important to bring people uh, up with me and, you know, give people the information on, you know, how to contact photo editors, who you should be contacting at, uh, you know, brands and agencies, how you should be emailing. Because, you know, I want, I don't want to be one of only 15 or one of only, you know, a handful, you know, of, of people that are actually making work and making money. So I think that's how you really change the narrative is bringing other black people up with you.